Hey, how's it going, everybody? Ark's been out for eight long years, and I've been playing Ark ever since it very first hit Steam. And I picked up a lot of tips and tricks along the way, so today I'm going to share just a few of them with you. There's quite a bit more that I can share, but honestly, there's a lot of things I do without even realizing that I'm doing them, especially in my long series. So you know what? Without further ado, let's jump into the ones that really pop out that I think that could really help out a lot of players all right for the first tip if you're not on uh lost island but you do have access to lost island my recommendation is as quickly as possible as soon as possible as early as possible get to lost island because there's a certain shoulder pet that you absolutely want these guys are so amazing and they will change the way that you play the game not only get one get two so you can breed them so where they can help you out through your playthrough much like these little guys, the Sonoma Crops. These guys are absolutely amazing. Now, not only do they are you able to put them on your shoulder and fly up and glide, you are also able to uh, take advantage of their massive weight reduction. Now, all um, pets, shoulder pets, actually have a really good weight reduction of 50%. These guys actually have a 75% because if you put stuff in their inventory, uh, here, let me show you. Right now, we have got... Oh, well, actually, we can just like this. Uh, we've got 132 weight. Now, if we take uh, 10 pounds of this stuff right here and we get into their inventory, put it right there, bam, it'll actually put it down to five. Now, we pick them up and it actually um, reduces it by a further half. So, these guys are absolutely amazing for the weight reduction. Plus, just by holding R, you can open up their inventory like a backpack while you're wearing them, which makes them the only shoulder pet that you can do that with. It's really good, and these guys will absolutely change how you play the game. Also, if uh, when you're looking for the early Argents and such like that, you can actually use these guys to tame them from the air. They can be found all throughout the jungles and the swamps of Lost Island, and you tame them by feeding them... Titan, and then letting them eat it and then run away. Oh, that's a nice one. All right, and for the next tip, early on in the game, when you get your very first flyer, it can feel very liberating, and it really does, because it takes you above the action and allows you to kind of pick and choose exactly how you want to play the game, which is very, very important. But my, I encourage you, don't stay up here. There's a lot of things to be had down on the ground and a lot of things that you'll just absolutely miss by completely flying in the air. Yes, the uh, sky does allow you to swoop down with an Argent and grab things or, you know, uh, same with a Pteranodon, a Griffin, a Wyvern, anything like that. And it does make you be able to pick and choose a lot of things, which is very important. But also get some really good ground mounts to just go around on the ground because that's where you learn everything. That's how you pick up all the uh, good all the good tips and tricks and everything that you yourself will learn is on the ground because the ground does not equal death. Well, it kind of does, but when you get used to the ground, the air actually becomes less of a you know, a freeing bit, and then you'll be able to just find your way through the ground. You know, you'll be able to pick and choose the fights that you want. That's why I encourage you, get to flying, get that freeing feeling that everybody in Ark longs for, but don't stay there. Come down on the ground, actually play the game a little bit, because that's where you learn a lot of really cool stuff, is on the ground. That's where you tame your thylas, that's where you tame all your good ground mounts, that's just where all the action is, and if you're gonna learn stuff, of, that's where you're going to learn it. All right, for the next tip, if you're on a map that has access to Maywings, get one early. Not only can you actually uh, get the saddle before you can get a Pteranodon, level, uh, level 19, these guys will also help you out completely throughout the game. You can uh, glide on these guys. They are really, really fast. They help you get maneuverable as soon as possible. Plus, also, they kind of tie in with the, uh, with, uh, the previous tip about getting down on the ground you are down on the ground you're gliding you have to come down but once you get 
really good at these guys, it's really impressive just how far and how fast you can get around the map with these guys. Plus, also, these guys can be used to hatch your other babies as you're going up through the game. You can pick up babies that can hold up to four, and you can also imprint them while they're being carried. Take your babies, claim them, and you can immediately put... Mewing over it, pick up baby right in the saddle. And another tip for imprinting on these guys is when you have one that is loaded in the saddle, you can actually pre-walk it. So if that uh, baby is going to want to walk, you can just run around on the Maywing, kind of charge that thing up, and then when it comes around time to imprint it, if it is a walk, it will just auto-imprint for you. It's really, really efficient, really effective, and it really will help you out quite a bit. Just like that. Now also, while the baby is in the saddle, instead of actually having to feed the baby independently, you just put the food on the uh, Maywing and then it'll eat directly from there. And also, if you are imprinting babies and you don't like what it uh, is asking you to do, you can always just pick them up with a cryopod. And it'll re-roll exactly what you want. Now, we don't like this guy, so we're just going to pick him back up and we're going to try again. If you have cryo sickness enabled on your server, it will actually take you a little bit since you have to wait for the cryo sickness cooldown to come down each time. But this is very, very effective, especially when you're taming stuff that wants specific meats or specific food that you just don't have access to. You can also, while it's raising up, you can, uh, um, certain other things while they're raising up, if you don't have the specific thing that it's seriously requiring you to, like wyverns and such like that, you can actually heal them up with a deodon or also with an owl as they're raising and then use this to reroll their, uh, what they want. So slightly like wyvern milk, uh, if instead you can just pick them up, throw them out in cryopod, get a cuddle, and then use your owl or your deodon to heal them up as they're raising up so you don't have to force feed them wyvern milk. All right, another tip is if you're using fish baskets for just about anything, say shadow main taming, and you are worried about their timer running out, then you can always just take them and put them down on your hot bar and jump into the water. As long as you're on their hot bar, this will reset their timer down to a full 40 second or 40 minutes. And then you come back up. Then you can put them in your inventory however you want. And then their timer will be going down. But if you need to reset them, just put them back on your hot bar and dive into the water. And for this next tip, I want to show you a really, really cool thing with rare flowers. Now, rare flowers, uh, well, like most everything in Ark, there are multiple uses for just about everything. Now, rare flowers, these things right here can be used to uh, aggro just about everything. Now, things that normally aren't aggressive, they will become aggressive with this and they will track you down, which means that you can take them and you can put them inside of a taming pen or you can just knock them out if you're having problems. Uh, things like Quetzals, like Tapajars, anything like that you, that you see. If you put a rare flower down on your uh, hotbar and you just click it, then you will be kind of surprised at a lot of the things that come out to get you. Just like this, this Tapajara, now he is, we can actually knock this guy out while he's aggressive on us. It takes a little bit of a, a little bit of a skill to knock him out, but, or you could take this guy and you could totally drag him into a taming pen, so where you could tame him now. And right now he's kind of at our mercy. Yeah, he is smacking us in the face. I kind of like it, but you know what? That's just one of the things that kind of goes. So, yeah, and then as soon as the um, rare flower wears off, he's going to peace out a little bit, and we can use another one to bring him right back to where we want him. All right, Ichthyornis. You can use these guys to get prime meat from anything that it can actually pick up. Now, you go to its uh, reticule like this, and you cycle through hunt, no hunt, and hunt and retrieve, and then you can take it, use anything as a pointer, and then double click 
your command and it will go pick it up and then it'll eventually kill it. Sometimes it can take a while, depends on the... But once it does, it turns it golden and then you can take and you can harvest prime meat from it. It has to be something that it can pick up, but once it does, it'll actually turn it golden and it'll kill it. And then, well, it'll kill it and then turn it golden. And then you can get prime meat from it, which is a really good way to get quick and easy prime meat in the early game. All right, another quick and easy tip. This right here is when you are just starting out, especially, or if you just need to find that one spot that uh, you want to get back to. All you do is open up your map, and then you press P, and you'll be able to put pins exactly where you want them, perfectly on the map, so where you can come back to it, or you can put markers, or if, say, somebody is messing with you, and you want to know exactly where they're at, so you can mess with them back, well, guess what? You can now do it. All you do is put in the lad latitude and the longitude, you can select uh, the pin color, and you can put the marker name, and then you can uh, set it, you can have a marker for wherever you want to on the map. If you're taming something and you see that it is getting visibly damaged, you can actually take and either feed it yourself by throwing off all your gear onto whatever dino you're riding and feeding it to your feeding yourself to it just by having it eat you and then heal up on the corpse. Or you can go grab a tiny dino from around you that is either alive or dead that it will eat um, to it and it will heal up for it um, while it eats it or eats the corpse so where you can actually heal it up a little bit better and then means that you can actually shoot it with your crossbow a little bit more effectively without worry about killing it. See how he's really bloody? And now he's not. All right, in the mid to late game, when you need to actually start hunting uh, alphas, you can easily kill alphas with a Carno. All you have to do is get yourself onto a ledge or onto a slight incline and then just smack it. The knockback from the uh, Argent is enough to push the alpha back, so it just will not hit you at all for any reason. Get the timing right and you're golden. And if you want to take on Alpha Rexes, you can easily just position yourself right above their back and they can't do a single thing to you. With this method, all it really takes is patience and those levels are just gonna be flying in. Same thing with the Alpha XP and the Alpha loot that they generally tend to have. All right, another tip. If you are on a map that allows you to craft tents, then you are in luck because you would not believe some of the things that a tent will allow you to do. Having trouble taming something? All right, just stick a tent over it. Now, he can't go anywhere. Excuse the interruption. Now we can get back to taming our guy because we don't have to chase this guy down at all. And now he's out. Taming a uh, um, taming with a tent can work on uh, Lamantria, Maywings, Pteranodons, uh, Pelagornis, all sorts of things that you could just didn't even realize that you could uh, uh, tame with a. Uh, just by holding it in place. If you think that it's going to fly away on you, stick a tent over it. All right. And for a tip about the uh, Pelagornis, these guys, yeah, you can actually land on water with these guys. And then also you can fish off their backs with these guys, which is absolutely wicked, wicked cool. Just like that. All right, and for the final tip of the video, it is also about the Pelagornis, but it is about the Pelagornis up here with the penguins because most everybody knows that if you harvest the penguins, you actually get quite a bit of organic polymer. And now if you smack up one of the adult ones right here, uh, 
with a Pelagornis, you're not going to get that much. A club is actually still best for those. But if you actually uh, take and... Oh, I didn't bring... Oh, well, hey, there we go. But if you take on one of the little guys and you use the Pelagornis to harvest up that, you get an astronomic amount right there. Just a huge amount off the little babies, which makes them the best ones for harvesting up the little guys. All right. So, hey, I hope this video helps you out. I hope you enjoyed the tips. If, uh, yeah, hey, if you like the tips, make sure you leave me a thumbs up down below uh, and subscribe. All right. So, hey, but until next time, uh, this is Flinger Foo, and take it easy, everybody. That Yudi just made everybody up there have a really bad day. All right. Enjoy that, guys. All right. Take it easy, everyone.